blessed and pleasant good afternoon boys and girls moms and dads thank you for joining us for children bible minutes listen we are excited that you are here with us how has your saturday been we know the weekend is always different from during the week but you know what we are happy that you still join us on a Saturday to be with us. Listen, Muki has an exciting story to tell you about a very strong guy in the Bible. So far, we've been looking at Bible heroes and all that they are able to do through the mercy of God. Well, this one particular Bible hero that we're going to hear about today, he was doing awesome things with his um, strength through the power of God, but he had a little inside secret. His name is Samson, and we're going to hear all about Samson's power and how he used it. So, let's listen to the story of Samson. Samson, Judges, chapters 13 and 16. The Israelites were in trouble again. Along came a very strong man named Samson. God had chosen him to save the Israelites from their enemies, the Philistines. Samson knew that as long as he did not cut his hair, he would always be very strong. Samson was in love with Delilah. The Philistines told Delilah they would pay her if she found out what made Samson so strong. At first, Samson lied to her. If you tie me up with ropes, Samson said, I will lose my strength. That night, while Samson slept, Delilah tied him up. Then she shouted, The Philistines are coming! Samson jumped up and broke the ropes. Delilah kissed him and asked, Won't you tell me your secret? Samson gave in and told her, My strength is in my long hair. When Samson was asleep, Delilah had all his hair cut off. Samson's strength was gone. The Philistines grabbed him and put him in jail. A while later, the Philistines were having a big party. They brought Samson in and made fun of him. Samson prayed to God to make him strong one last time. God did. Samson pushed the pillars with all his might. The temple came crashing down and Samson defeated the Philistines. Wow. There was so much going on in that story. I mean, Samson was just so full. I mean, he was full of strength and he had faith in God and he believed and, in, and everything. Let me ask, you ever have a friend that you told a secret to that then used that secret against you? Yeah, yeah, I've had some of that. I was asking Muki if he had any friends like that, but he didn't want to tell me if he had friends like that. Um, what happened is Samson fell in love with this girl, Delilah. Now, he was strong because he got his strength from God, and a secret of his strength was in his hair. And even though Delilah said she loved him and wanted to know his secrets, he didn't tell her in the beginning, but when you're in love, you do some things that you don't want to keep secrets from people. You want to make sure that if you say you love them, that you trust them and that you share with them all the information that you know and you have. And Samson really loved Delilah and Delilah looked like she really loved him too. But you know what made Delilah's love go bad? She was a little bit greedy. When the Philistines who came to her said, tell us how to get Samson's dog, man. Now, remember, the Israelites were already in a bad place, and they had turned away from God a lot, and they were in trouble. And God had chosen Samson and had given him the strength that he could save God's people. And he was doing an awesome job. But every time the Philistines would come to fight, guess who would win? Samson. Samson would win because of his strength and the secret of his strength in his ear. But love for Delilah caused him to tell Delilah the secret. And when he told Delilah the secret, Delilah used the secret against him. She did. She, she didn't take love very well. You see, boys and girls, when you love someone, you don't do things that will hurt them. When you love someone, you have to remember 
that you have to treat them nice. You have to treat them with the same type of love. And we're not talking boyfriend and girlfriend love only. Mm -mm. If you love mommy, you will not disrespect mommy. If you love daddy, you will not be rude towards daddy. If you love your teachers, you're going to treat them with respect all the time. If you love your friends, you're going to look out for them to make sure they're okay. See, the Bible tells us that God is all about love. It was love in John 3.16 that made God send his son Jesus Christ. John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Love means making a sacrifice for the people that you love. And Samson made a sacrifice. He sacrificed his secret to Delilah, but Delilah's love was not true. She used that secret against Samson and put him in a very bad place. And so the Philistines were able to catch him. But you know what? Even when the love of humans fail, the love of God does not. Because even though he lost his strength because of Delilah, when Samson was in trouble, he prayed out to God. And God loved him so much that God gave him one last burst of strength. Even without the long hair. And Samson was able to push down the pillars. And those who were attacking the Israelites and those who were abusing him, he was able to win over them. Why? Because the love of God never fails as long as we are willing to say, God, we are sorry if we made a mistake. We love you. Please look out for us. Bam. God is going to do it because his love is not like human love. None at all. And so because of that reason, and parents in the children's Bible, the story of Samson is there in Judges 13 and 16. Um, our Bible hero for today, you guessed it, Samson. Before he was born, now even before he was born, his mommy had heard from an angel never to cut his hair because the hair was the promise. And his strength was so powerful that he killed big animals and all kinds of things. But Delilah tricked the man. Even though he was betrayed by Delilah, his faith in God never failed. His love for God never failed. And neither did God's love for him. But because their love didn't fail, God and Samson, when Samson called on God, even though the hair was gone, God gave him enough strength to push down the pillars of the temple. But you know what? I have a song that caps up, recaps the story of Samson very well. Maybe we should listen to that song. Let's have a go. I'd like to tell you about a fella. The guy was really strong. Samson was an Israelite who never got along. God gave him a mission. God said, don't cut his hair. When Samson came a-coming, there was trouble everywhere. One day a lion jumped me, so I grabbed the vicious beast. When the fighting was all finished, oh, the lion was deceased. The Philistines had captured Israel, but God devised a plan. To rescue all the Israelites, and Samson was his man. Don't forget Samson, though you're big and strong Your power isn't just because your hair is long God give you your strength, you got a job to do God is gonna do a mighty work through you I caught 300 foxes, and once the tails were tied, I set them all on fire, until everything was fried. The Philistines got angry. We, we thought we'd take them down! I killed a thousand of them with a jawbone lying around. God was using Samson, Samson had a vice He hung out with evil women if he thought that they looked nice I show like Delilah, I want her as my bride I promise to be faithful and to never leave your side Don't forget Samson, though you're big and strong Your power isn't just because your hair is long God give you your strength, you got a job to do God is gonna do a mighty work through you They gave her lots of money to see what made him strong Every time she tried to trick him, she found that she was wrong Until the never-ending nagging, I could no longer bear I told her about my secret, that my strength was in my head When Samson was asleep, she shaved his hair till it was gone When awoken by the Philistines, Samson wasn't strong The Philistines are now upon you, I shouted out with glee We poked Samson's eyes out so that Samson couldn't see Samson, you were big 
and strong. Ooh. Your power wasn't just because your hair was long. Ooh. God gave you your strength, you got a job to do. Ooh. God's still gonna do a mighty work through you. They threw me in prison and made me grind grain. Then they threw a huge festival to the false god Dagon to celebrate my capture. When they brought me out to make fun of me, they didn't notice my strength came back. And guess what else came back? Let me rest between the pillows. Did something start to shake? What is Samson doing? Watch the pillows break! The place began to crumble. Bowsels now were dead. God did it with a fellow with long hair upon his head. Samson, he was big and strong His power wasn't just because his hair was long God gave you talents that he wants you to use God is gonna do a mighty work through you They did an awesome job of summarizing it, I believe, and in a fun way with that wonderful song. So you see, boys and girls, it's not that we shouldn't trust people. We will trust people because God says we should be kind and fair and forgiving to people. And sometimes they will betray us, sometimes they won't. But God will never betray us. He will never break our trust. He will never lie. And he will never break his promises to us, which is why God should be our best friend. Jesus should be our best friend, exactly, because he's not going to steer us wrong. You know what? We are running out of time. Maybe we should pray. We should pray and ask Jesus to be our best friend. What do you think? Would you mind closing your eyes and praying with me? Excellent. Let us pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we just thank you for the opportunity to spend time with you this afternoon. God, we just heard a wonderful story about Samson. And while there are some things in the story that reminds us that not everybody has a heart for you, God, we pray that you would help us to always keep our eyes focused on you, that we could have hearts that are meant to love you and to share that love with others. God, help us to remember that even when we are in danger, even when humans break our trust, even when they leave us behind, you are always with us. Your word says, God, that you will never leave us or forsake us. And we know that your promises are true. We thank you, God. And we pray that you would give us strength. Not strength to break up things like Samson, but strength to be able to follow you and strength to be bold enough to tell other people about your love. God, we thank you for loving us and for blessing us. And we pray that as you love and bless us, you would bless and love everyone else. We remember those who are sick. We remember those who are sad. We remember those who are suffering in any way this afternoon. And we ask God that you would help them to feel your love. God, we thank you that we could spend time with you and we could talk to you through prayers. We offer ourselves and our prayers to you through the name of your precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me, boys and girls. And thank you for joining us for Children's Bible Minute. Now, remember, please, that tomorrow Mookie is not on at 2 o'clock. Tomorrow Mookie is on at 4 p.m. on Love FM TV and Love FM Radio. And then at quarter of, no, quarter to five here on our Facebook page. We look forward to spending time with you. We pray that you have a wonderful and blessed Saturday evening. And for parents, we look forward to seeing you this evening for evening prayer at 4, compline at 9, and then, of course, our Eucharist service tomorrow at 8 a.m. Thank you all for joining us for all of these wonderful services. We enjoy spending time with you. Listen, I got to run. But until next time, know that we pray that you stay home, that you stay safe, and that God continues to bless you in all things. Until next time, bye for now.